In this video, I'll provide a general overview of the ADDIE model of instructional design. ADDIE is one of the most popular models for creating training curriculum. The ADDIE model provides learning designers with an essential structure for designing curricula in any learning environment, such as in education, corporate settings, government, nonprofit, or any other organization where learning takes place. ADDIE is composed of five essential stages analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. Let's take a look at each of these in more detail, starting with the analysis stage. At the analysis stage, instructional designers gather information and make decisions that will make the training development process much smoother later. There are several major activities that occur at this stage. Instructional designers identify the training needs. Learning objectives are created that address the needs. They define who their audience is to which the instruction will be targeting. The training content is selected that will help the target audience achieve the learning objectives. The most appropriate delivery methods are then selected. The resources and constraints are established that direct by when the project will be complete, the budget allotted, and the resources available. During this stage, communication begins with those who may be involved in the design or implementation. This may include graphic designers, corporate trainers, and more. This information is used to guide the activities of the instructional designers during the next stage, the design stage. During the design stage, the instructional designer creates the blueprint for the instruction. There are several major activities included in this stage. The learning content and information is sequenced into logical segments or units. Storyboards are created for e-learning modules or training videos. Rough drafts of scripts or training outlines are created. Digital media, print media, and other deliverables are prototyped. Communication continues with the design team and the SMEs. The learning project's instructional, visual, and technical design strategies are documented and reviewed by the relevant stakeholders on the project. These aspects need to be signed off before moving on to the next stage. Once the design of the instruction is signed off by the stakeholders, instruction is moved into the next stage, development. Several important activities happen during the development stage. The developers create, assemble, and organize the digital and print deliverables that were begun in the design phase. Training videos are recorded, edited, and produced. E-learning and any technological aspects of training are tested and finalized. The project documentation of the strategies are further reviewed and feedback is given to the instructional designers. Some or all of the training may be piloted with a select group of individuals, including members of the learning design team. Once the stakeholders sign off on the design strategies, the project is moved into the next stage, the implementation stage. This is the stage in which training actually is delivered. During this stage, videos, e-learning, help aids, and other materials are accessed by the participants. Also, the learners outside of the test groups now participate in the classes and training. Evaluation intersects with each of the other stages of the training process. This involves two major components, the formative evaluation and the summative evaluation. The formative evaluation describes the examination that is done throughout the other four stages of the training process. The formative evaluation allows those involved in the training or curriculum development to recognize potential barriers to the training before they happen, respond to training challenges as they occur, avoid repeating mistakes, and make course corrections as needed. The summative evaluation focuses on examining the outcome of the training during the implementation stage. The information gathered from the summative evaluation continues to guide the project design process. In the ADDIE model, these five stages are not always linear. They build off one another, and how this model is implemented will vary depending on the project.